Hey guys, this is Lucky from Netcode Illuminati, and today I'll be showing you a weapon guide on the M4A1. Um, basically, it's just a silenced version of the M4A4, except it has less bullets. It has 10 less bullets than the M4A4. So if you're in a, a firefight, you'll definitely notice the difference between 30 and 20. Um, anyways, let's get to it. Basically, I'm going to show you right now is how the recoil pattern looks like without having it controlled. Basically what it's going to do is it's going to go up and then it's going to go to the right and then going to keep going right, left, right, left. It's going to look like an upside down L. So uh, here we go. That is how it looks like. And what you want to do is center your bullets like this when you're spraying. As you can see, all of my bullets are in a center location. They went where I wanted them to go. They, uh, they're generally around the same area. And now, farther range, it works the same exact way. My bullets should have gone where I wanted them to go, except this one, of course, it went a little up. I messed up a little bit. So, as you can see, the gun is fairly accurate. If, if this was a state or an enemy's head, I would definitely kill them. Um, now for the bursting portion of this tutorial. Basically, it's the same concept as the spraying. You just want to 3-3-3. Three, three, three. Always shoot three bullets. And it'll f go wherever you want them to go. It's good when you're when you're bursting make sure to remember that make sure to remember to move so shoot three bullets move shoot three bullets move shoot three bullets move shoot three bullets move etc this way it doesn't give your enemy like an, an exact location of what you're doing or exact idea of what you're doing so if you're just doing this they'll more than likely end up killing you because you're in the same spot so he can just adjust his aim as for this it's it's a lot harder to, to kill somebody and your bullets still go where they want to go, as you can see. I'm hitting my, my target. And now for tapping. Tapping is also really, really useful in like long-range situations. Like, let's say you're, you're pit on Dust 2 and they're defusing the bomb in a site. You can just shoot from pit and uh, it'll go... It'll, it's fairly, fairly accurate. You can just continue shooting and it'll go where you want, to, want them to go. As you can see, I'll show you right now. My bullets stayed around the same area. They went where I wanted them to go. They, these would definitely kill people. 100%. So, um, a little tip and trick I highly recommend when, uh, when spraying. So let's say you, you were caught off guard by an enemy. You have no choice but to crouch. And if, let's say you're crouched, right here what you want to do is, when you're shooting them, try to crouch up and down. What this does is it makes it so that they can't hit your head as well as uh, as easy as they could have if you're just crouched like this, and your bullets still go exactly where you want them to go. They're they're still around the same area. Your recoil does not change. You you can still shoot perfectly fine. Of course, you're going to get slowed from that from the crouching thing, as you can see. You will get slowed eventually. But yeah. I, I generally recommend doing that if you have no choice but to crouch. Anyways, uh, now as for part two of the tutorial, I'm going to DM against some bots that I'm going to set up in the server right now. And um, yeah, one second. Hey guys, so this is part two of the tutorial. Basically what I'm going to do is just show you guys all of the techniques I just uh, I just told you guys that I use against these bots. Of course so uh, here goes the first portion of it is tapping so what you want to do is just tap at the enemy's head and it'll go fairly where you want them to go like this as you can hear I'm, I'm dinking them as well so tapping is very useful when it comes to long-range situations like this and now for bursting bursting I, I don't recommend doing it from this distance I recommend doing it from a distance like this where you can just burst people down because if you're in a really really close firefight and somebody's this close to you chances are you'll die before you end up shooting three clips or shooting two two uh, reps of bursting so what you want to do in situations that are this close is just spray down the enemy 
you'll you'll waste some bullets because uh, you'll kill them, but it's generally good to burst down in situations or spray down situations that you know you can't burst in. As you can see, bursting is still really, really accurate. Tapping is also really good on this gun. Bursting. Burst. 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 Tap, tap. Tap, 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 tap. Spray. Etc. So, uh, anyways, guys. Thanks for watching this video. This was Lucky from Netcode Illuminati. And for more content like this from myself and other pros, tune into netcodeilluminati.com. Thank you, and have a tapping day.